two women who agreed to carry children for other couples are now fighting for the rights of surrogate mothers. They're asking the Supreme Court to weigh in on surrogacy. Correspondent Jason Calvi spoke to one of them and brings us her story. To be able to just buy a child because you have the money, that's scary. Tony Bear of Muscatine, Iowa, signed a contract in 2016 to carry another couple's unborn children. But while pregnant, she had second thoughts. I was told that I should be saying, yes, ma'am. I was told that I had to get permission to go to doctors. And then a couple days later, I was called the N-word. They treated me like I was a slave. <laughs> she gave birth to twin baby girls. One died shortly after birth. The other baby is almost two and is being raised by the couple in Cedar Rapids. In 2016, the couple sued Tony for violating the contract and a court ruled her parental rights never existed. Now she's asking the U.S. Supreme Court to hear her appeal. Her attorney says lower courts have never ruled on surrogacy itself. They treat it as a contract. No civilized society can treat a woman as an inanimate object or expect a mother to ignore her natural moral duty to her child is asking far too much of any woman to demand that she ignore the love and bond she has with the child. Tony says mothers should have the right to change their mind. She misses her baby girl. I'm essentially a stranger to her right now. She's been gone so long. I'm not an evil person. I know she doesn't remember me. You know, I just hope they do right by her. In court records, the couple Paul and Chantel Montover give their side of the story. They say Tony didn't even inform them when the children were born or that one of the babies died and was cremated. The Montovers also clarify Paul is the biological father along with an anonymous donor egg. Therefore, he and his wife, they say, are the lawful parents and the Iowa Supreme Court agrees. Lauren. Several European countries ban surrogacy altogether. That's right. The church is against it. Why? The catechism says that you cannot separate. You know, it's gravely immoral to separate sexual acts from procreation in marriage. And, and the church teaches that a child has the right to be born of a father and a mother known to him or her and bound to each other by marriage. Jason Calvi, thank you so much for that report.